So you are back with me for another video. You're watching Home Versus House and I'm Lisa. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you some of the updates that I did in my living room for the summer months. If you are joining me for the first time on this channel, I talk about DIY projects that you can do in your home to put your handprints upon your home for little or no money. So thanks for joining me and if you are returning thank you for coming back and i hope you have fun and that you're inspired with this video so i'm going to give you a walkthrough on some of the updates that i did in my living room space from like my spring i kept the teal pop of color in here I added these two new throw pillows. So the back one I made out of some leftover texture fabric that I had um, from another project. And then the, this front one I used some black corduroy fabric that I had. And then on this piece of this neutral piece, I just had my daughter sketch out this floral pattern. And then I went over it with some all-purpose, just black sewing thread, and I just embroidered the pattern. And this was a way of bringing some black and white floral element that I had over in this corner of my living room over here. So that was my attempt. Over on this table, I didn't really do much. I kept the pop of teal. Here I added this thrifted wooden decor piece and then this full floral piece that I picked up at Family Dollar for, I think they were like, it was $2. This tray, this wooden tray is a tray that I had um, a few years now. I had picked it up on, from Walmart on clearance. I picked up a set of four and I ended up painting over this one with some neutral color paint that I had on hand. And I did another tray the same color, but I have it downstairs in my family room. So that's what I did here. This sign I kept. Um, and as I mentioned in my previous video, it's just really cool metal sign that originally came from Z Gallery and it just says announcement, news. I recently picked up another um, similar sign that I have up here. It's a French horn and again, horns, trumpets, it just kind of symbolized to me important news, important information. And I have them sitting in this room because a lot of courageous, important conversations happen in this room with my friends and family. So I thought this was a good spot for two pieces like this. Over here in this corner, I added this black and white floral armchair that I had in my bedroom. And then I added this mirror and these two sconces, I had them in another area of my home. My peace lily plant, I had them sitting in this corner on the floor and I just um, put it on a wooden um, stand that I had. I think I picked up the stand from Hobby Lobby some years ago. Over on this bookshelf, I didn't really do much. I think I switched out some of the books on here and then I added this black and white floral box and um, it's a catch-all box for like notebooks and just clutter things that would normally clutter up the living room I have it sitting in this box I have another box just like it sitting over here these two box I picked up from I think it was Hancock fabric store years before it closed down when I was going for a black and white theme and I I if I recall, I picked it up the same time I picked up this um, black and white 
chair and I think the chair originally came from Ross and I picked up uh, two of these chairs and one broke so I got rid of it and I kept this one in this corner I just have my ladder with a couple of light throws and this ladder I feature I featured this ladder in one of my first videos um, and it was a project where I took my daughter's old headboard and I my son helped me transform it into this um, throw ladder and then this bookshelf here I had it in this corner doing the early spring and uh, winter and then I just moved it over here because I felt like it did better in this space at least for now over on my mantle I didn't do much other than to switch out um, I think it was a silver planters that I had here and I switched it out for this neutral these two neutral color planters with some baby spider plants that's growing and my fireplace I recently repainted the black part of that I had a strip of gold I think it was down here and I just used some black chalk paint that I picked up from Walmart and I repainted I painted over the gold strip and then I also repainted this black section um, just to give it a fresh coat of paint over on this wall if you recall from one of my previous videos I on this shelf I had my plants for the winter so I've moved most of those plants out on my front porch and I did still keep a few plants in here that did okay with low light just to keep some life in this space and then up here I added this I added my clock I think I had my clock over on this wall and I moved it over here and then I added this wall decor that I found in my garage I was I was doing some decluttering in my garage recently and found lots of cool treasures that I've been able to utilize in my home decor for this season over on this wall I added the other um, matching or the other part of that wall decor up here and then I added some floral some faux greenery over here that I picked up from Family Dollar and then these black and white prints are just prints and um, photos from photos of me and my children when we are around the same age and I use that as a comparison picture and it's kind of nice to see who looks like who around what age so guys that is what I did with my living room for the summer if you notice I kept it really really neutral I didn't do a whole lot of changes in here um, but that's kind of what I like I like the I like the earthy tones I like the earthy um, the symbols of, of the earth um, including green plants life I have a few pieces like metal pieces wooden pieces some stone pieces here and um, and also some texture fabric so that's kind of like my style and I'm really happy with with this look so I hope that I inspired somebody to do something fabulous with their space make it you and that you don't really need a whole lot of finances to do that you need more creativity or creative ideas or inspiration more than finances but it's totally doable so guys thanks for watching and i will see you on the next video bye